Introduction. Hey, Yankita, we have discussed structure of endomembrane system, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, lysosomes, vacuoles, mitochondria, plastids, and ribosomes. I think we have completed all the topics. No, Madhuri, there are some more topics to be learned. They are structure of cytoskeleton, cilia and flagella, centrosomes and centrioles, nucleus and microbodies. So come, let's know about them in this module. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Know characters of cytoskeleton Know the characters of cilia and flagella. Understand characters of centrosomes and centrioles. Know the characters of nucleus. Know characters of microbodies. Characters of cytoskeleton. Cytoskeleton is an elaborate network of filamentous, proteinaceous structures present in the cytoplasm. Cytoskeleton provides mechanical support, motility, maintenance of the shape of the cell. Characters of Cilia and Flagella Cilia and Flagella are hair-like outgrowths of the cell membrane. Cilia are small structures which work like ores, causing the movement of either the cell or the surrounding fluid. Flagella are comparatively longer and responsible for cell movement. The cilia of flagella are covered with plasma membrane. Their core is known as exoneme. Exoneme possesses a number of microtubules running parallel to the long axis. The exoneme has nine pairs of doublets of radially arranged peripheral microtubules and a pair of centrally located microtubules. This arrangement is known as 9 plus 2 array. The central tubules are connected by bridges and are enclosed by a central sheath which is connected to one of the tubules of each peripheral doublet by a radial spoke. The peripheral doublets are also interconnected by linkers. Both cilia and flagella emerge from centriole like structure called the basal bodies. Characters of centrosomes and centrioles Centrosome is an organelle containing two cylindrical structures called centrioles. Centrosomes are surrounded by amorphous pericentriolar materials. Both the centrioles in a centrosome lie perpendicular to each other in which each has an organization like the cartwheel. Centrosomes are made up of nine evenly spaced peripheral fibrils of tubulin protein. Each of the peripheral fibril is triplet. The central part of the proximal region of the centriole is also proteinaceous and called the hub. This hub is connected with tubules of the peripheral triplet by radial spokes made of protein. The centrioles form the basal body of cilia or flagella and spindle fibers that give rise to the spindle apparatus during cell division in animal cells. Characters of Nucleus Nucleus was at first discovered by Robert Brown in 1831 AD in orchid cells. Nucleus is also called the director of the cell. Nucleus is most important part of the cell which directs and controls all the cellular functions of the body. Fleming named chromatin the material of the nucleus stained by basic dyes. The interface nucleus has highly extended and elaborate nucleoprotein fiber called chromatin, nuclear matrix and one or more spherical bodies called nucleoli. Nuclear envelope has two parallel membranes 
with space between them known as perinuclear space. The outer membrane is usually continuous with the endoplasmic reticulum having ribosomes on it. Nuclear envelope is interrupted by minute spore at a number of places. These pores are formed by the fusion of its two membranes. The movement of RNA and protein takes place through these pores in both the directions between nucleus and the cytoplasm. Characters of Chromosomes During various stages of cell division, cells show structured chromosomes in the place of nucleus. Chromatin contains DNA and some basic proteins known as histones, some non-histone proteins and RNA. A single cell of human being has about 2 meter long DNA thread distributed among its 46 chromosomes. Each chromosome has a constriction point called the centromere, which divides the chromosome into two sections or arms. On the sides of the centromere's disc-shaped structure called kinetochores are present. The short arm of the chromosome is labeled the P-arm. The long arm of the chromosome is labeled the Q-arm. Based on the position of the centromere, the chromosomes are classified into four types. Metacentric, submetacentric, acrocentric and telocentric. The metacentric chromosome has centromere in the middle forming two equal arms of the chromosome. The submetacentric chromosome has centromere slightly away from the middle so that one arm is shorter and one arm is longer. The acrocentric chromosome has centromere close to its end, forming one extremely short arm and one very long arm. The telocentric chromosome has terminal centromere. In some cases, the chromosomes have non-staining secondary constrictions at the constant location, which appears as a small fragment known as satellite. Special Types of Chromosomes There are two special types of chromosomes, lamp brush chromosomes and polyteen chromosomes. Lamp brush chromosomes occur inside oocytes of amphibian. Loops of lamp brush possesses DNA, RNA and proteins. Lamp brush chromosomes are observed in meiotic prophase. Polyteen chromosomes occur in cells of some insects. In oocytes, they occur in diplotene. Polyteen chromosomes are formed due to duplication without separation and replication of DNA without cell division. Balbiani rings occur in polyteen chromosome, which are sites of RNA and protein synthesis. Characters of microbodies Many membrane-bound minute vesicles, known as microbodies, that contain various enzymes are present in both plant and animal cells. Microbodies include peroxisomes and glyoxisomes, which protect the cell from the damage of peroxides. Peroxisomes have glycolate oxidase enzyme, which helps in photorespiration. Spherosomes synthesize and store fat. Did you know? Nucleus was first observed by Luan Hick in RBCs of fish. De Robertis et al. gave ultra structure of nucleus in 1971. In nucleus, DNA and histones ratio is nearly 1 is to 1. Nucleolus is also called little nucleus. Nucleosomes are called functional units of chromosomes. Genophore is another name of nucleoid of prokaryotic cells. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. The cytoskeleton in a cell are involved in many functions such as mechanical support, motility, maintenance of the shape of the cell. 
cilia and flagella are hair like outgrowth of the cell membrane centrosome is an organelle usually containing two cylindrical structures called centrioles the nucleus is enclosed by nuclear envelope a double membrane structure with nuclear pores the inner membrane encloses the nucleoplasm and the chromatin material thus cell is the structural and functional unit of life many membrane bound minute vesicles called microbodies that contain various enzymes are present in both plant and animal cells